Welcome back to the afternoon program and I'm excited about this afternoon. Now you might notice that I have a piece of grass and a little something else. This is actually some leaves from a tree. Now uh, what you might say, Miss Ruthie, why are you uh, holding some grass and some leaves? Well, you know, I noticed something about these and maybe you'll notice something too. Do you see how long this is? And do you see how uh, small this is? And how it has all these little leaves? And uh, you might notice this has roots on it. And this one is attached to a tree, right? Now, <clears throat> um, this grass is only going to get a certain height. It can't grow much longer than that height. But you know what? A tree can grow really, really tall, can't it? And you know, a tree might say, wow, look at this. Um, I'm so tall, I can do so much. And the grass might say, well, they can't talk, but you may might think if they could, oh man, I'm just a piece of grass. I can't get really tall and I can't do all the things that a tree can do. And um, they might think different things if they could think. Or, you know, if we look at um, the different things around us, you might think they all have something different, right? And they might wish that they were, oh, I wish I was this or I wish I was that, but you know what? Every single one of them has a place. The grass makes it so much more beautiful when you walk. And also, grass keeps us from having to see the dirt, right? <laughs> and dirt also helps the grass to grow, so they help each other, right? And trees give us shade. And there's so many different things that these things can do. Um, grass also provides food for animals. Trees provide food for animals in different ways. So they provide different food for different animals too. So each one of them has their job. You know, God is so creative. He's created so many different things, trees and grass and flowers and you and me and so many beautiful things and so much variety. We each have a different thing about us and that's okay. We all have our different tasks that God has given us. You might be really good at art and I might be good at something else. And your friend might be really good at something else. And that's okay, God has all given us so many different talents and made us different because he knows that each of us have a special place. And he's given us all this wonderful talent. So let's use it for him, right? And let's say, okay, the Lord has given me a gift. Let me use that for Jesus. And I can't wait to see you someday up there so we can see and use all of our wonderful talents up there for him. Boys and girls, welcome to another health segment with Kids Camp Meeting. I'm Dr. Nelson and I'm so excited to see each of you. Today we have a very special doctor in our program. How many of you just love to take naps? I don't see very many hands going up. How many of you just love to go to bed early? I really don't see any hands going up. But you know, Dr. Sleep is one of the most important doctors for kids. So let's join David as he asks Dr. Sleep why she's so important. Hello, Dr. Sleep. Thank you for joining us. Tell me, why are you an important doctor that keeps me healthy? Sleep is so important to keep your body running. Do any of you have a toy that uses a rechargeable battery? Well, if you do, you know what happens if you don't charge the battery. The toy doesn't run. It's kind of like that with sleep. Sleep re-energizes your body's cells. Sleep supports learning and memory, and sleep renews and heals worn down body tissues. My mom makes me take a nap. Do I really have to take naps to stay healthy? Getting enough sleep is very important, and your mommies know that. Often children above age four do not need to take naps, but an afternoon rest may still be important. So my advice is listen to your mommies. How much sleep should boys and girls get every night? Boys and girls ages three to 12 should get between 10 and 12 hours of sleep at night. I have trouble going to sleep. Should I watch TV to help me get to sleep? My answer is no, but I have a much better idea. Instead, try reciting Bible verses in your mind. This will remind you that Jesus loves you 
and he will be watching over you while you're sleeping. Any other tips or suggestions on how I can get enough sleep to stay healthy? Following a schedule is very important. Try going to bed around the same time at night and getting up around the same time every morning. This will help your body rest well and you will feel best. And remember, it is healthy to go to bed early. Bye, Dr. Sleep. Thank you, Dr. Sleep. I am so glad that God gave you as one of the doctors that help keep us healthy. Hey, boys and girls. I'm Pastor Garrett. I'm here again with my good friend, Levi. And today, we're going to be making our very own lava lamp. Whoa! Right? Now, Levi, did you have a lava lamp when you were growing up? And you're, yeah, uh -huh. you did? What color was it? Red. Red. So what does a lava lamp do besides just turn on? Well, when you turn it on, it, it changes, it turns a color and like bubbles start coming up. Yeah, like those bubbles heat up and they start morphing around. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's the exact sound. That's the same soundtrack I would use as well. But all we need to make our own here today, and we just have your ordinary water, uh, we have food coloring here. So these are things you might have in your home, and uh, you just need any kind of oil. I'm using just vegetable oil because it's really cheap. It's not necessarily healthy for you, but for this we're not going to be eating it. So anyway, I figured that would be okay. And the one thing you might not have that you might need to go get is just um, some Alka-Seltzer. Uh, just a tablet there. I had to go get some yesterday. But anyway, that's all that you need to make your own lava lamp. And you can make it any color that you want. So let's go ahead and start this out here. Now, one thing I didn't get is a funnel. So we're going to have to be really good and precise. So go ahead and take the bottle cap off of that. And we're going to need to pour this into that tiny little hole. You think you can do it? If you spill, it's okay. It's a science I'll experiment. Hold it? Uh, I'll let you know when. Okay. I'll hold this so it doesn't spill. There you go. Now take a look at that oil while you're pouring it there. It's like all bubbling. Keep going, you're good. Keep it going. Doing a great job. That should be about right. Now, what do you notice immediately about what's happening there? It's separating. It's separating. Now you can see like there's a bunch of little bubbles in there, but the water's on the bottom and the oil's on the top. Now I did one as well and mine is, has been sitting for a little bit longer. And if you can see really closely, there's a bunch of bubbles in that one and it has to sit there. But this one's pretty clear. Now I chose, well, Dakota chose, my wife chose to make my lava lamp purple. So that's the color that it is. But you can choose any color that you want for your lava lamp. I've got a bunch here, so which one do you think you'd like? Blue. Turquoise, blue, green, yellow, green. Red, pink, I'm colorblind, so I'm just, I'm trying. Probably that one. You want to go with green? Yeah. Okay, so here you go. Go ahead and just, I'll just pop this off for you there. Oh. And you're going to need probably five or six drops right there. There's one, two, Do one more, because seven's that perfect number, right? There you go. All right, so you can see the food coloring is there, and it's kind of just sitting. It's not even in the water yet. It's just sitting right there on top of that oil. Isn't that something? It's like there's a false bottom. Now it should, they see how it's right under there? It should burst here. And just a second, there it is. So it just burst, and now all that water underneath is all green. All right, so we have that part now. And remember last time we, we had an experiment about uh, pepper and water and how those separate? Yeah. Oil and water is the same thing. All right, so now that you have that done, I'm gonna open my bottle here. All that you need to do is take one of these tablets, hopefully it fits in that, if not, we'll break it in half, and you just put it inside, and that's not gonna be big enough, so we will break it. You can just push, put those into there. I'll put mine in. There you go. So I'm putting mine in too. Now watch what happens. 
Look at that. See mine here? Oh, so cool. Look at, oh my goodness. Here, as we're still doing this, I see a little friend. Look at that! <laughs> Maybe our friend the frog, I didn't even know he was in here, can watch us too. What do you think of that guy? Set him down there for now. What do you want to name him? I had a little frog when I was your age. I named him Apostle. <laughs> Pretty great name. All right, but anyway, so here you see it's bubbling up just like that, and uh, we have our own lava lamp, which is pretty cool. Now, what's the spiritual lesson that we can learn from this? What are what are our hearts supposed to be full of when we get to know Jesus? Love. Full of love, right? And the more and more you get to know Jesus, you know that song, Jesus' love is bubbling over, right? Mm -hmm. That's what this kind of reminds me of here. God wants his love to fill our hearts to the point that it's so full that we just explode. Just like that, right? And that's what this means to me. And it's a really easy experiment to do. And by the way, inviting Jesus into your heart is one of the easiest and best things that you can do in your life as well. So anyway, thanks for your help, Levi, and uh, I hope that you're able to do this at home. Let me know how it goes, and we will see you next time. God bless you. Welcome, kids. I'm so glad to see you today. I can't wait to get moving. Welcome to the exercise segment of our kids' health program. Let's see what we have in store today. It's time to guess the exercise. I am something kids of all ages can do. I don't need any equipment. It's especially fun to do me in the springtime. My name has two syllables and rhymes with sunning. Have you guessed what I am yet? If you guessed running, you're correct. Look how much fun these two little girls are having as they run around. But you don't have to run with a friend. You can run by yourself. That's what Ian's doing. Let's join him as he runs around in his backyard. Good job, Ian. Wow, look at Ian go. Some of you may not have a backyard to run in. That's okay. You can run at a park or a playground, anywhere there's some grass and you're not near a street. That was so much fun. Let's have Ian back up and do it again. Wow, look at how quickly Ian runs backwards. Keep going. There you go. We're going to retrace all our steps backwards and then we're going to see if we can run even faster the second time. Ready? You need to make sure you're right where you started. Go! Go, Ian, go! You can do it! Yay! All right, kids. It's your turn. Set your timer for five minutes and run, run, run. I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. First Samuel 17, 45. And why do you like that verse? Because it's all we, it's always, we always have to trust in Jesus. John three sixteen, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm so glad we've had this time together. It's been so much fun. We've learned lots of lessons and we've gotten to do a lot of things together. So that's been great. Now, don't forget to check in again at seven tonight for our story. So let's have a prayer. Dear Father in heaven, thank you so much for this time. Thank you that you've given us all different talents. Thank you that you've given us the Holy Spirit to help guide us in our lives as well. We love you and we pray that you will help us to remember um, to ask for the Holy Spirit daily and that you will help us to listen when he talks to us and when you talk to us. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Check back tomorrow. I can't wait to see you. Oh, and don't forget tonight. Bye.